Hello friends, this is 11.15 evening, I mean it is night right now, but it's okay, a uh, little bit silent time and uh, good to make uh, some video or audio recording at this time and anyway, but little tired too, but no issue. So today, let me talk about internship. So one of the document I'm sharing right now, internship. This is based on the one of the document of NCTE, which was uh, published in 2018, later on dropped because of the release of the NEP. 2020 so it is 15 the proposal is a 15 credits 300 marks but uh, not to misunderstand with this and it is given this 15 credit is uh, with the you know has which has to be covered in 18 weeks so for the interpretation of this comes from the NCFTE that is National Curriculum Framework for Teacher Education 2010. Um, there are, if you go through that document, you will find around 33 times uh, regarding his, his internship program is mentioned, and one uh, must go through that. One must go through that seriously because, uh, repeatedly, I am saying you, until the curriculum frameworks are, you know, thoroughly understood. It's just a transaction of its elements uh, or implementation of elements is not enough. So entire philosophical, theoretical and principles are uh, well explained in the curriculum framework for teacher education. So in this document, uh, a major changes has happened after 2014 regulation by NCTE. Before that, uh, the duration was very less in comparison to post-2014 regulation. So, to understand the possibility of NEP 2020 implementation regarding uh, internship, school internship program, if you go uh, just carefully observe to this document, here is, see, uh, in the point number 32, school internship is mentioned. School internship mentioned. Again, this is 15 credits, which has to be provided in, in case of four-year degree program. Uh, 15 credits uh, as a practicum with the 300 marks after conversion of these 15 credits into the number weightage. But and the important thing to be understand is this is not the only thing which uh, we need to, you know, really understand the school internship for interpretation. Well, next to this, say, school exposure is given here in the 13, second 13. Exposure to multicultural context is also there, which was known as a school attachment and uh, working with community. All these are uh, all together actually internship program. And so, so what is the school internship specially meant to be the teaching practice which has to be carried out in the real platform uh, during the training, uh, especially pre-service training. So lots of interpretation are there among them. Uh, see, this is the NCFC document. If you try to search about this in the section 2.4, in the curricular area C section, school internship is thoroughly given here and the rationale of the school internship, uh, you know, are given. And the, so, uh, the, the, you know, everything, everything about the need of the, you know, uh, internship program, school internship program is explained here in this document. This is the policy document and uh, yes, I request everyone, uh, 
if they are really understand want to understand the school internship or intensive program uh, carry out during the pre-service teachers training program especially in the you know undergraduate program this particular portion is very important because of the presence of this uh, component uh, in the curriculum structure of teacher education program teacher education programs are considered as a professional degree program in india so uh, basically what uh, is the scenario let me show you uh, you know a different university a different institution used to interpret this thing in a different way uh, one of the example here is if we look into this uh, this is one of the little old one uh, already amended later on uh, adopted in Regional Institute of Education uh, with the heading of internship in teaching. Uh, then, uh, yes, in Arai Bhopal. <coughs> so, it, the, these things are interpreted from the curriculum framework for teacher education. Okay, so uh, this document may be referred, which has been amended and going to be amended more after the introduction of NEP 2020. So objectives of the internship program are simplified here and uh, we can, I mean, look back into this, uh, say in brief, as an, you know, just citing two lines, the internship will be able to students teachers to develop high level of competencies in all aspects of teachers who are, have acquaintance with the school and community, use of local resources, including material and the local knowledge in teaching learning process like this, many things are there. But uh, beyond this, let me tell you, uh, one of the university also interpreted about this, uh, you know, uh, of the two years DA program, uh, school internship, credit is 16. One more credit has been added here and total marks in the form of number, which is 400 marks, where 300 is carried out as internal and 100 is carried out as external. So objectives are also given here by a specific university. Uh, so these interpretations, whatever it is, a, in, it is in a way it is a simplification process. We cannot say exactly this is an independent one, but the guiding lamps is a national curriculum framework for teacher education. Basically, when we say internship, there are majorly you know, after 2014 regulation, uh, which is especially based on the Burma Committee recommendation. So, the school internship, the school internship, public internship. So, making uh, just an affix work with the school internship, make it understand it is re with re in relation with the teaching practices so basically in these three components are there that is number one that is school exposure number two that is school attachment and number three that is school internship so basically when we say internship in the teachers training program this consists of three different major components to be you know implemented as a real life experience so this is one of the uh, you know strong example of experiential learning so, why this has been done, uh, you know, uh, a logic behind uh, this structure is there, but this particular, in terms of weeks, this covered two weeks, this also covered two weeks, and this covered 18 weeks. So, whether it is in case of 
two year BA program or four years integrated program. These are these three uh, to be implemented. Only the difference is that in case of two year BA program, uh, this is particularly this program is particularly uh, you know for the uh, people who have already completed their undergraduate programs and four year integrated program is after the schooling uh, life you know that is after plus two in our context so uh, th these three are implemented one in two year another one in four year so different locations are there for the implementations especially for this 18 week programs among the RIE this is implemented in seven sem whole seven semester is especially you know kept for the school internship so same thing it is also uh, you know uh, proposed in the NEP 2020 NEP 2020 so the logic behind this structure of internship is not to be confused with the school internship actually the school internship is also a part of the entire experiential learning part having real experiences uh, you know field experiences minimum uh, you know as per recommendation by the document policy documents so school exposure is especially you know this is uh, this allow allows uh, you know the trainees to you know some kind of uh, say physical observation physical observation in the sense uh, the physical structure campus the components whatever provided in a school campus even not inside the surrounding environment of the school campus has to be observed carefully without interfering in the existing system everybody come across their school life but that time the observation is as a student here the observation will be specially based on the uh, prospective future teacher so it's, it, it, it is going to be like uh, you know a third party observation so it uh, to reflect or to uh, in other sense for school internship this particular school exposure is a sensitization phase so that at the time of the school internship program uh, already the adaptation process must be over that is an assumption also so lots of tasks are given in the uh, policy document to be done during this two weeks of school exposure and it, it is said that minimum minimum two type of school it should be happen carried out in minimum two types of school maybe government private maybe state government central government maybe urban rural like that at least two type of school has to be you know uh, taken care of during the school exposure this time uh, uh, lots of tools have to be developed to be observed i mean observation schedule has to be developed under the supervision of the mentor teachers to carry out successful school exposure program and <coughs> say for example if there is a safe drinking water point in the school campus how does it helpful in the learning environment do i mean does it really help in the you know learning creating a learning environment if it has how does it help in the uh, you know in creating learning environment having a self drinking water point in the school campus actually there should be but one must know Yes, there should be a safe drinking water, functional toiletry, sanitization, sanitary systems, like that. Many other components are there in a school, in a school campus. So, 
the significance of each structural elements including human resources presence there in the campus must be observed carefully and analyzed and reflected upon that so following that during the school attachment a serious kind of uh, you know observation including the functions school is including the functions occurring or carried out in the school system has to be observed so see these two points are very significant in yeah. that regard sensitization phase more closer to that it's some kind of socialization process we have four stages of socialization process like that so initial phase establishment phase and participatory participation phase so in the case of school internship for 18 weeks, the real, the, in, you know, the internees take part in the functions, take part in the functions of the school systems. Uh, many organizations still are not able to practically follow this part of serious kind of implementation of the internship program so with this introduction one must know or one must uh, you know know thoroughly and one must implement the internship program carefully just like in you know uh, uh, like other uh, professional programs uh, sometimes engineering students they used to call it life projects and all this is a life project and uh, uh, you know uh, the medical students sometimes used to call is uh, you know the house duty uh, after MBBA, mbbs in india that is undergraduate program of medical science and uh, after pg program master program even uh, in the undergraduate program mbbs program also though they do have internship program they, are, they really take part in the consultant, providing consultancy to the patients visited to the, uh, you know, authorized doctors by, you know, being along with the authorized doctors or so-called their professors. So, in every professional program, a real kind of, you know, experience is needed, it makes a trainee, a complete, you know, uh, um, completely ready, getting readiness to, uh, you know, really enter into the world of profession after the completion of the program. So, if I cite you one example of the that RIE, just as a glimpse. There are phases of internship in teaching. That is one is a school exposure program. Uh, this is uh, implemented in the, um, I'm citing an example, which is has which has been implemented in the two year BA program. Now there's no more two years BA program is there in the RI system. And already NAP is also proposing for a minimum to have a four year degree integrated degree program by any other teacher institution, teacher education institutions and the uh, phase two is school attachment program phase three is school placement program if we go in detail every phases let's say for example school exposure phase uh, for two weeks we have a certain weightage in terms of marks and uh, see during this program the student teacher self observe the school school public classroom environment location and affiliation infrastructure facilities, equipment, teaching, learning resources, human resources, subject teachers in position, supporting staff, school functioning, classroom interaction, timing schedule, organization of various activities. These things are asked to observe during the school, school exposure program and during the school attachment program. So just by this few example, one may understand uh, more clearly. Uh, during this program, the students is to self-observe various curricular activities, sports, games, dance, song, literacy, scientific uh, exhibitions, the teaching learning process in classroom, methods adopted, 
approaches and strategies communication process ICT integration like that see the see, observation phase is more crucial in the school adjustment time this is how a real kind of interpretation is very important here one more thing in the addition in addition to that in, and you will find this in the new education policy 2020 that is working with community or community living camp uh, it is now proposed for two weeks it is part of the innovative innovation in the implementation of teacher education curricular program here uh, student teachers goes to a village site uh, within a radius that they, uh, they take part all the activities carry out in the day-to-day -day life of the uh, you know village community by that way uh, you know trainees are also uh, you know exposed to adapt in a particular community to it makes students understand the diversity and different cultural context the linguistic context uh, you know many contexts and uh, finally this 18 weeks program uh, including two weeks of pre-internship program and 16 weeks of internship teaching so uh, it is uh, around 300 marks here you are saying 250 marks it just goes up to 300 marks and uh, then um, by aggregating by bringing together of school exposure and school attachment it will go to uh, 400 marks in terms of number of tests so in the school internship program you know regulations are there and any teacher education institution you know uh, have to go through the policy document exactly what to do during the school teaching practice internships duration here in uh, you know brief uh, as an example which has been implemented in the RI system so in internship program planning and the facilitating teaching learning process starting from unit planning lesson planning classroom teaching lesson observation developing using teaching learning resources ICT integration in assessment preparation of CCC CCE activities including unit tests many things are there. understanding the school context like that so many activities are there to be carried out as a real teacher which are actually performed by the really the, the in-service teacher in that particular school where you know uh, the trainees are appointed as a, uh, internees this is how the you know we will continue uh, discussion on this this is just an introduction we start with uh, uh, you know for the understanding about the internship this policy document must be referred first Later on, we should start, uh, you know, taking part and, uh, you know, learning things uh, as a trainee about the internship program. Thank you, guys. See you soon and the next session.